without your help, it's extremely challenging to enjoy anything else. You know, I'm a doctor of chiropractic. Some love us, and some just have no idea what we do, okay? I always say if more people knew what we did versus what they thought we did, less people would suffer. You know, amen. <laughs> Jen and I were at a party uh, just a couple months ago at this gorgeous, beautiful home. The kitchen was about the size of half this room, just, just gorgeous. Um, and there was a woman crying. And Jim was talking to her, she's very compassionate, and, and she just began to share her story. She said, you know, I've had three, excuse me, two injections in my neck. I had a car accident about two months ago. I'm in terrible pain, we're in the middle of a party. Okay, she's crying in the middle of the kitchen, they're all hanging out. That's how bad it had gotten for her, all right? She had an accident two months ago, two injections. Now her, her neurosurgeon wanted her to go into surgery. And for those of you who know anything about back or neck surgery, you want to avoid it at all costs. Natural first, drug second, surgery last. Surgery rarely works. We're just not that far enough in, in that part of medicine to pull that off successfully. So I was talking to her, and um, I said, you know, have you, have you been, I, I came over, I said, have you been to a chiropractor? Mommy, mommy, mommy. And the one thing she said to me, is, well, my medical doctor told me not to go see a chiropractor. And I gotta tell you, in this day and age, that is really rare. Chiropractors and medical doctors work really well together now. Because we understand the philosophy, natural first, drug second, surgery last. Just as a side note, chiropractors are the back pain, neck pain, and headache specialists, okay? We work with the spine and nervous system to restore the function to the spinal joints to remove the pressure and tension off of the body and let it heal itself. There's no voodoo involved. There are thousands of peer-reviewed medical journals proving our effectiveness, okay? Chiropractors are doctors. We went to school just as long as your MD. I went to school for seven years. It's like we know what we're doing in this area. And I also understand that trying to change somebody's health philosophy is kind of like trying to change their religion just can't do it. It's got to be their choice. So being a chiropractor for 16 years, I certainly knew that I'm not going to pounce on her and say, you got to go see a chiropractor. Your MD is wrong, even though that's how I felt. But I've learned just to ask this simple question. I said, you got to ask yourself, is what you're doing working? Because if it is, keep doing it, right? Just keep doing it. If it's not working, maybe it's time to try something else. Okay, well, good news is she went on vacation and she said she's going to be visiting our Westminster office when she gets back. And uh, I hope she does, because I know we're gonna go to help her. She's only gonna get one more shot and then it's, it's surgery, so I know we can help her. I met another gentleman just about a month ago and he was in pain. He was definitely out of it for the night. He opened up to me, he shared a story he said he's addicted to narcotics, painkillers, started with back pain, just a little back pain, went down that narcotic line, because that's what he was told to do. Now he's going in for his second surgery. I said, we thought about seeing a chiropractor. Is what you're doing working? He's like, no, 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 I don't want to see a chiropractor. Look, well, we've got to break that cycle, okay? Too many people are suffering out there. Chiropractic relieves pain, restores vitality, and helps the body function at its absolute best without medication. That is awesome. So my suggestion is if you don't wanna have the same health as your parents or grandparents, we might wanna take a different approach to our healthcare system, okay? It's 2015 and here at Discover Health and Wellness, we are leading the health and wellness revolution here in Colorado. Because this is our current model of healthcare. This is where the urgency is coming in my voice. Our healthcare system is the most expensive and ineffective system in the world. New England Journal of Medicine, they said that in 1999 about the US healthcare system. Our country is now one of the sickest industrialized nations in the world. The Journal of the American Medical Association has now publicly announced that the US healthcare system is a dysfunctional mess. That came out in 2007. This was before the whole insurance fiasco. We have more money, excuse me, we have more infant mortality, drug abuse, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, lung disease, and disabilities. It has been stated that something fundamentally is going wrong to cause our country 
to lose ground against other high income countries with the same kind of money that we have here in our healthcare system. Okay, that was from the National Institute of Health. What we are doing is not working at all. You guys, our country is focused on sick care, not health care. It's a tremendous difference. Most of us are trained to only take care of our health when we have symptoms, right? Or worse yet, some of us are trained to take care of our health when we're ready to die. Okay, well, I better take care of my health now. I'm getting ready to die, right? That doesn't work. This slide represents five out of six. Does anybody know what that represents, five out of six? Five out of six Americans will be diagnosed with heart disease or cancer. Five out of six. So we're passionate about showing you that your best wealth is your health, okay? Because we want you to be the one out of the six. Did you know that we have more heart disease and cancer than any other industrialized country in the world, hands down? Right, Kimberlyn? Hands down. And did you also know that 94% of heart disease and cancer is preventable? Did you know that? 94% of cancer is preventable. 94% of heart disease is preventable. My dad died of a second heart attack at 53. All right, it's preventable. Now, there's five ways to elevate your health. And here they are. Number one, drastically reduce toxins, drastically. Now, we all know a lot of toxins in our life, but one of the big ones we might not think of is medication. We have a medical doctor in our group that if you're taking medication that you don't want to be taking anymore, you might be able to get off. Don't go off yourself. There's a reason you're on it, but when you can talk to somebody who knows about that, they may be able to help you get off. That's number one. Number two, remove undetected nerve damage. I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. Number three, eat right, exercise. And number five, live the elevate mindset. Before I go into that, I mentioned DJ and Kimberlyn Haynes earlier. I lost 35 pounds um, in the past uh, six months. Okay, the past six months. I actually lost less than half of it. I wasn't expecting that, but thank you. You're welcome. Um, but those guys have it dialed in. You know, I tried literally working out and eating right, and I should know this stuff, okay? But it wasn't until I got connected with them that I finally got locked into it, so thank you guys. So live the elevate mindset. What is the Elevate Mindset in summary for that whole entire book? Love God, yourself, and others. That's number one. Number two, take 100% responsibility for your life. Everything. Take responsibility for it. Lastly, number three, practice emotional intelligence. What that means is be aware of your emotional states. Right? Don't stay in a stressed out state too long. Know what's bothering you. It sounds simple, but how many of us go through life completely bothered and fuzzed up in our brain, but not ever addressing why, right? Because we see the commercial, take this antidepressant, take this anti-anxiety drug, all life will be better. Just a different way to look at it, okay? All right, your nervous system is the master control center of your entire body. You've got nerves going from your brain, down your spine, to your heart, to your lungs, to your colon, to your liver, to your ab, to your stomach, everywhere. Your nervous system is the master control center of it all. So how much is your spine worth? If I was to say, I'll give you two million, uh, Carrie, I'll give you two million for your spine. <laughs> Not gonna work, is it? Yeah, how much is your spine worth? Your life. Your life, okay? This is an interesting study. Do you know what the immune system is? Yeah. The immune system is a major system in your body that fights off disease and infection. If you don't have your immune system, it's pretty much like not having your cardiovascular system. You're gonna die pretty quick. Bugs are everywhere, staph infection is everywhere. Our bodies are constantly fighting off cancer, constantly fighting off bacteria and virus. So this study was done from a, a medical doctor. This study measured one group that had not received chiropractic care and compared their immune system to another group that had received wellness chiropractic care. They found that the group receiving wellness chiropractic care had a 200% stronger immune system than the non-chiropractic group. Isn't that amazing? I mean, a wellness chiropractic patient is getting adjusted one to two times a month, and they had a 200% higher immune system. You know, DJ, how many times have you seen me sick? 
Rarely ever. Never, right? right? When's the last time I was sick, Jen? I don't even remember. I don't get sick, but I make sure I get adjusted twice a month. An oncologist took this study further and compared the chiropractic group, achoo, just kidding, compared the chiropractic group <laughs> to his cancer patients and revealed that the chiropractic group had a 400% stronger immune system than his cancer patients. Isn't that awesome? Yep. I wanted to share that with you because um, chiropractic is so much more than back pain, neck pain, and headaches. We're very good at that, but we're so much more. Guys, it's about posture and correction. This is not normal at 65. I know that's what we've been taught. We have 70 year olds in our offices running marathons. They have way more energy than I do, incredible. That picture right in the middle there is called a loss of curve, okay? For lack of a better term, forward head posture or loss of curve. That's your, your this patient's looking this way, all right? The spinal cord runs right down the back of that and then it's gone straight. If we look at our texting, our driving, our computers, our television, our ergonomically poor workstations, car accidents, slips and falls, contact sports, guys, we see about 70% of patients have a straight neck. Now, overall, that's not the worst we see for sure, but about 70% of people have lost the curve in their neck, and that is serious, okay? That's the same patient, that's the corrected care patient after we got the curve back into his neck. Guys, that patient in the middle, that is early death. That is pressure and tension on the nervous system decreasing the quality and quantity of years of his life. That second picture is life saved. That study on the bottom, I don't know if you can read it, but it's from Spine. That's the most prestigious neurological journal in the world. And that study came out and said when you lose the curve in your neck, it takes up to 14 <coughs> years off of your lifespan. Big deal. Now, not only does it do that, but it causes advanced arthritis. I'm going to show you that in a minute, I believe. So this is what I know for sure. This is what I am 100% certain on, 100%. If I was standing at the edge of a cliff and said, are you 100% positive? that the next seven statements you're gonna make are 100% true, or you would fall into that cliff, I would say, bring it on, baby. This is 100% true. Here we go, number one. The body can self-heal and self-regulate. Right, Dr. Lloyd? Absolutely. The body can self-heal and self-regulate. If you cut your arm, it doesn't matter if you believe in it or not, your arm's gonna heal. There's an amazing healing power inside of you. You can call it whatever you want, it's there. It's what's making your heart beat right now. It's what makes your hair stand up on edge when you get cold. What makes your muscles shiver back and forth, right, to generate heat. That's an innate intelligence inside of you. And your body can self-heal and self-regulate. It's the old homeostasis. If I stand in a freezer, my body's gonna do the best it can to stay up to 98.6 degrees. It regulates itself, all right? Number two, the nervous system is the master control center of the entire body. Number three, the spinal column, which you're looking at right there, protects the nervous system. There's a reason that brain got a little hard shell around it, and our back has got those bumps on it. It's the first system born, it's the first system created when you're just an embryo, is the nervous system. When the spinal column has loss of curve, it puts pressure and tension on the brain stem and spinal cord it decreases its ability to self-heal and self-regulate, okay? Curved, body can self-heal and self-regulate. Straight, body can no longer self-heal and self-regulate as good as it could this way. Number six, research shows that loss of spinal curve decreases the quality and quantity of life by 14 years, causes degenerative joint disease, and decreases the body's resistance to disease and infection. Lastly, number seven, research shows when loss of spinal curve is corrected, it increases the quality and quantity of life, inhibits degenerative joint disease, and increases the body's ability to fight disease and infection. That is awesome. Now, I believe this is going to work. Okay, this is a slide, this is a video we're about to show that shows the normal degeneration that happens to a neck if it's not taken care of. So go ahead and play this. This is a side view picture of this patient. I believe they took like 8,000 shots of a swim over 40 years. 
but he had some trauma in his life and began to lose his courage. This is just a normal, not trauma, but normal poor workstation, driving, texting, whatever it was that was causing that loss. That's the normal degeneration in the spine. Now, granted, you're going to see some massive arthritis kick in, but his nervous system running down the back of that is just getting choked and pinched. It keeps going. Right, that was a span over 40 years. It is not normal to have a straight neck. Look at that. There is X phase of forward degeneration. There is nothing we can do. And once that process starts, it does not stop. It's a law of physics. It's called Wolf's Law. Once it goes straight, the body actually forwards bone to keep that, that neck from crushing on the discs. And unfortunately, it does as good as it can. The weight from the head is supposed to go on the back part, not the front part. You know, when we lose the curve in our neck, it also cuts off our lung capacity by 30%. Did you know that? Oxygen is pretty important. Last time I checked. Right, Chrissy? We go ahead and put our head forward as far as you can real quick. Take a deep breath in. All the way out. Now put your ears over your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. So much more. <laughs> so much more. That was right there. That's what you feel like once you get the curve back in your neck. You want more mental clarity, more energy, get that fuzz away, breathe more, get more oxygen to your system. Now, I'm going to read several symptoms, okay? I'm going to read these out loud, and I want you to count how many you've had in the last 30 days, okay? I want to show a little experiment here of how prevalent this is. Here we go. I'm going to read these symptoms, count to yourself. I'm gonna read them out loud. Count to yourself how many you've had in the past 30 days, okay? Irritability and depression. All right, Kim, you can only count that one once. Okay, the first part, irritability. What? <laughs> I'm Do I have just like kidding. a microphone on me or something? Yeah. I'm thinking I'm being kind of quiet, but I'm All right, I was just preaching, playing. Here we go, ready? Number one, irritability and depression. Sinus and allergy problems. Fatigue and tiredness, chronic colds, tight muscles, tight, tight muscles, leg pain and sciatica, numbness and tingling in the arms or hands, TMJ, joint disorders, digestive problems, carpal tunnel syndrome, whiplash, asthma, fibroid conditions, neck pain, mid-back pain, low back pain, shoulder pain, Menstrual pain, like severe menstrual pain. Prescription drug use, diabetes, weight issues, tension and or migraine headaches, difficulty sleeping, hot flashes, high blood pressure or cholesterol problems, disturbed sleep and skin conditions. Now, all of you kept track. And here's what I want you to do. Raise your hand. If you had more than five of these in the past 30 days, and leave your hand up. Okay, if you had more than five. If you had more than three. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> well, I thought I'd see more than five. Okay, about half the way. If you had more than two. Oh my God. More than two of the symptoms. Okay, keep your hands up if you had more than two. Just go and look around the room for a second. Right? Easily, 75% of the room has got their hands up. Go and lower your hand. You guys, it's not normal to have chronic symptoms. That's not normal, okay? Your problem is not the symptom, by the way. The problem is the source of the symptom. We find the source. So I'm gonna show you a way naturally. Well, if I, if I was able to show you a way to naturally take care of those health challenges, you said, yeah, would you wanna know about that? Should I keep going? Okay. If I show hands, if you want to know about that, let me see your hand. Okay, all right, good. Okay. Good. okay. I want to show you a video uh, before I get into that, those natural solutions. And um, this video really, really touched me. This came from Dr. Hall, our, doc our doctor in Westminster, and one of his friends sent it to him. Uh, very powerful. She's going to get it up in just a second. But... Um, this certainly convinced me. Let's go ahead and see it when you're ready.
What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment. Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? It's time to decide. Health is a choice. Thanks, Dr. Swan. Chiropractic adds years to your life and life to your sexual view. Can you light some, please? Dr. Z, can you light some? Thank you. All right, guys, that is powerful. Okay, the purpose of discovering health and wellness is to change the way our world views healthcare. You know, that, uh, that touched me uh, greatly when I saw that. And it even up my game for making sure I maintain my regular adjustments. I want you to know, um, we are here for you. Okay, we, we do these Elevate Foundations, and sometimes we'll talk about health, sometimes we won't, but I really felt I wanna talk about health, uh, this go around in addition to wealth, being that health is your greatest wealth. And there's tons and tons of celebrity endorsement what we do works, okay? Um, I'm about to close here. Before I do, just to sum up the passion we have to help you feel your best uh, is best by this, by this next video. Uh, just about two and a half minutes, Dr. Zagiba, can you get the lights, please? <laughs> Last week, we had a very special guest on our show, Dr. Kevin Laszlo. He's from Discover Health and Wellness. It's the best-selling author also and the clinic director for their seven Denver metro locations. This is now one of the largest groups of health and wellness centers here in Colorado. They specialize in healthy health care, utilizing chiropractic, massage, and toxicity cleanses. And it's so nice to have you back. It's good to be back. So kind of give us a refresher course. Explain a little bit further like you did last week. You spoke about health and wellness. It's about healthy health care. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when we take a look at the modern model of health care, it's about waiting until you get sick, taking drugs to cover up symptoms, and getting sicker and sicker. Mm -hmm. it's, it's expensive. It doesn't work very well. And it's dangerous. Discover Health and Wellness represents the new model of healthy health care which is very, very affordable. It works really, really well, and it's incredibly safe. I also spoke about how we help people, right. right, with back pain, neck pain, headaches, allergies, asthma, digestive disorders. Today, what I'm excited to talk about is the other side of the coin, and what we also specialize in is the top five ways to elevate your health so we can have more energy, vitality, and youth. Boy, I want the energy you have. <laughs> you are passionate about this, yeah. changing lives. So how do we elevate our health? You know, first we need to ask ourselves, why should we elevate our health, right? Why is health important? I'm here to tell you that your health is the most important value you have. If we take a look at all the things that are important to us, right, our, our family, our friends, our career, our finances, our, our church, our synagogue, all very, very important values. Without our health, those are non-existent. I mean, That's completely true. gone. If, if we don't take care of our health now, we're going to have to take care of our health later. I, I always like to say, why health? Because if you're dead, it's really hard to live a life of greatness. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. I've had some really scary things happen to me in my life within my family, and it made me realize... You, you have nothing without your health. I yeah. mean, that's what it's all about, it's health and happiness. Yes. So seven Denver Metro locations, obviously passionate about what you do. Yeah. And, and just describe the passion within your work ethic and the people that work with you. Well, it, it's from our personal stories. Uh, my father died of his second heart attack at 53 years old. Oh, 53. 53. Man. One of our doctor's fathers died at 51. Another one of our doctor's moms died at 44 that's from a, from a stroke. That's too young. It's, uh, to say we're passionate about this is, is an understatement. What we're passionate about is our patients' lives and preventing this kind of tragedy from happening to their families. You mentioned some really young ages there, 44. My God, I'm 42. Mm. To have life taken from you like that. Talk okay. All right, we're changing the 
way the world views healthcare.